How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for biochemistry for step one, okay? Uh, I know some of these answer choices might look a bit confusing, but this is considered a bread and butter important question, no excuses. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. Four-year-old boy, he has a history of fractures, and our image shows us blue sclerae. Okay, I mean, this is a high yield diagnosis, past level, as I said, for osteogenesis imperfecta. Okay, it's a collagen one defect. So let's just walk through the answer choice here. We'll go backwards. Choice E, impaired desmosine cross linking, wrong fucking answer. This, in theory, would refer to an elastin problem. Okay, you could be aware that desmosine is a protein within elastin. Okay, unlike collagen, it does not have a glycine XY uh, primary structure. It does not uh, form a triple helix. It does not contain carbohydrate, okay? So uh, elastin defect could refer to, in theory, Williams syndrome, autosomal dominant, chromosome seven, uh, supravalvular aortic stenosis, elfin-like facies, hypercalcemia, vitamin D, hypersensitivity. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, GTPA's constitutive activity, wrong answer. Could refer to, in theory, CROSS, K-R-A-S, mutated in some colon cancers, where uh, constitutive activity means it's always on. You need to cleave GTP into GDP to shut off GTPases, and you can't do that in CRASS. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, glycoprotein forming disarrayed sheaths or elastin. wrong answer. You need to know that Marfan syndrome, which codes for, a, or it's a defect in fibrillin, autosomal dominant, chromosome 15, FBN1, FBN2. You need to know fibrillin is a glycoprotein that forms a sheath around elastin, okay? Nothing to do with collagen. I want you to memorize that. Fibrillin is a glycoprotein that forms a sheath around elastin. There's an old NBME exam uh, for step one, NBME 12 or 13, one of the old forms where they ask about Marfan syndrome. The answer was literally, quote, uh, glycoprotein that forms a sheath around elastin. That's fibrillin, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, glycine tryptophan substitution is correct. Okay, so this is osteogenesis imperfect, as I said. Uh, defect in collagen one. This is not the only potential mechanism for OA or for OI, nor does the USMLE actually give a fuck. Okay. Don't worry about OMG, this specific glycine tryptophan substitution. It's not that. It's just this is the only answer that refers to collagen in this case. They could have had an answer such as impaired hydroxylation of collagen residues or impaired glycosylation of collagen residues or impaired formation of the triple helix collagen residues, Im impaired ability to cleave the non-triple helix end groups from uh, exocytosed collagen. Okay, so people get pulled into, it's the forest for the trees type of thing. People get pulled into these nitpicky mechanisms when in reality it's just this is the only one that could explain a defect in collagen in this case, okay? So you can get conductive hearing loss, uh, impaired formation of the ossicles, the middle ear bones, uh, and blue sclerae, classic, uh, fractures at different stages of healing, and often mistaken for child abuse. You have to think of differentials uh, such as albers schoenberg syndrome, that's osteoporosis, okay, and child abuse, as I said. Uh, and it can be, there's different types of OI. Okay, if you were to wiki it, you're like, wow, there's like eight to 12 types, however many, differing severities, okay? It can be fatal in utero as well. For harder questions, they can mention a woman who's had a prior miscarriage, okay? And the implication being maybe there was a variant somehow of the OI where it was worse in utero, okay? So let's just whip through the last answer choice. Desmoglein, binding of calcium, wrong answer. This in theory could refer to pemphigus vulgaris, okay? Desmoglein is a protein in uh, desmosomes. Okay, and desmoglein is part of the cadherin family of uh, connective tissue molecules. So that would, cadherins uh, are calcium dependent. Okay, so whereas of course, uh, bolus pemphigoid hemi desmosomes. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.